Welcome to your office, boss. I'm your new executive assistant. I'm here to make life as easy as possible and to help this business run efficiently. The recreational area slash breakout space, going through to the executive suite. We're all set up to grow this company with everything a modern executive could want. There's the boardroom. The panels are easily swapped, so you can install a gun locker or a safe whenever you want to. It's possible to knock through here and add some personal quarters, somewhere to lie down, take some me time, look at the Dynasty 8 site for details. Most important of all, though, is your executive terminal. Here's where you'll access the Securo Serve special cargo network to take this operation to another level. I'll tell you all about it when you first log in. So that's it. Take a look around, get settled in. I'm at the front desk or on the end of the phone whenever you need me. Sorry, I don't got time for pleasantries. Just get the job done. Boss, there's an update on SecuroServe. This is big. They moved into vehicle cargo. Log into the terminal and I'll talk you through it. Okay, I've set you up with username and password for the SecuroServe special cargo network. Just hit log in. Okay, you logged on? The homepage should be showing you three options. Special cargo, vehicle cargo, and special vehicle work. Special cargo has been up and running for some time. You buy a warehouse, then purchase illicit goods you sell on for profit. Vehicle cargo is their new offering. You purchase a vehicle warehouse, then SecuroServe puts you onto different cars in the area to source. Once you've sourced the cars, you warehouse them and sell them onto a highly vetted customer base when you want to. Special vehicle works a little different. These are complex operations SecuroServe have planned and prepared for clients using state-of-the-art customized vehicles. They trust only their best performers with these tasks, so we'll need to make some headway with vehicle cargo before taking this on. Vehicle cargo. Okay, if you want to start trading, you're going to need warehouse space to store the cars. See what's on the market and make your purchase. Okay, you've got some space. Now you can move cargo. Click on the green button, Source Vehicle, and we'll search the system for an appropriate car. Soon after that, the details will come through by text. Then it's just up to you to get the car and bring it to the warehouse. Be on the lookout for rival organizations trying to hijack your vehicles. And know that you can intercept organizations moving cars, too. Well, this car is being looked after by a professional outfit, shall we say? And they're taking it out to sea. So, you're going to need to airlift it out with a cargo bomb. Pick up the helicopter, then pick up the car. It's the boss. Okay, here's our new vehicle warehouse. Let me show you around. We're gonna store all our vehicle cargo here before selling it. We can fit 40 cars in here. 
We got a vending machine and some personal space back there for getting some shut-eye and changing your clothes. When you bring a car back, it'll get fixed up and listed on Ad Hoc's Autos. When you access the website from the laptop on the desk, you'll see your current stock of cars and be able to select how many you want to offload and to who. The amount you can sell at any one time is dependent on how many associates you got on hand. If we want to chase the bigger commissions, we're going to need to modify the cars to the bigger buyer specifications. Remove trackers, change paint jobs, rims, apply other mods. Different buyers got different requirements. The mechanic's on site to handle all that. It's an independent operator, so it costs to repair stolen cars that come in damaged, and to do the mods. But believe me, it makes life easy. And you see the door over there? That'll take you all the way down to the underground facility. You renovated down there, so there's somewhere to store any of those big, unwieldy, modified vehicles off the Warstock site. Only place to accommodate anything from a huge phantom wedge to an amphibious Blazer Aqua. And that's it. We should get to work. The more vehicle cargo we move, the more of an interest Securo Serve's gonna take in the company. We steal enough cars, they'll throw us some special vehicle work. Come by the office when you want to source that next car. See you, boss. Okay, boss, you want to sell something? You're in the right place. We log everything that comes in on the site, so you can see what we got in the warehouse. Select a vehicle, and it goes up on the export list to the top of the page. You can sell up to four vehicles at a time if you've got the drivers here in the warehouse. When the cars you want to sell are selected, confirm, and the system will search available buyers. There you go, we got three buyers. Pick who you like, but you should know that the bigger deal's got strings attached. They're gonna want you to do modifications up front. If you damage the car or lose it on the way to the sale, the money's gone. I'll do the modifications in-house, charge you a flat fee. It makes life simple for you and hard for me, but what else would you expect, right boss? Make a call and we'll get on with it. Okay, let's get this ready. Buyer wants certain elements changed, doesn't mind so much what they're changed to, and I've already quoted you a price. Select the mods they want stage by stage, and then hit complete when it's good. Work will be done. Okay, the work's been done. Take the car to the buyer and don't let another organization get in the way. Okay, we did it. That one's going on the balance sheet for next quarter.